Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So today we will be learning React with Nginx and Docker. So let's get started. So first we will clone a repository uh, from our sample project and it is given in the GitHub. So you can clone this repository for usage for in this tutorial. So I am cloning this repository in my local. So you type git clone and the repository address. Okay. So I will be using Visual Studio Code to edit the project files. Okay, So we will be modifying the docker files and the docker compose file. So you have to only do this. You can also make contents to the projects if you want. But only docker and docker compose file is enough to learn in deployment with nginx of react app. Okay. So you can clear the contents of the existing docker file and write a new one. So I'll show you the contents. Okay. So it will have a two stage build, stage one and stage two. So in stage one, I'll be building a react app and I'll be using the same in stage two, which will be used for nginx image build. Okay. So this is the multi-stage docker build and in one command you can build a react app and deploy it in nginx in a docker container so this is very helpful and you can use in for deployment in prod where the request will be served from nginx and that is the standard approach for deployment so i for the react app i am using node 12.8 and the same one like I'm using the user app as the work directory and running npm run build to build a sample version of our deployment and in the stage 2 I'll be using nginx alpine the base image of nginx and we'll be copying the contents which we built in stage 1 of our react app from the build directory and put it in nginx so this is the nginx alpine and then we have work directory as nginx html that is the work so we clear the contents from it and then copy user app build the contents from there to the nginx work directory okay yeah so under user src app build you can find uh, the stage of react like after build all those files will be there okay and here we are copying it and this is our entry point for running the nginx container so we'll be so after building it only one image will be built and we'll be running that image okay so i'll be using docker compose file to deploy it and I am showing you that content for the docker compose file. We are using version 3.4 for this YML file. Okay, and I am exposing it at 8080. So let's build this image. So we type docker compose build. So this will build our image from the docker file we created earlier. So here you can see in the command line that there are two stages happening, one for building the React app and another for building the Nginx image. Okay, so at the end we will be deploying that Nginx container only. So when we do Docker Compose app, it runs our React Nginx app. Okay, and you can ignore this message initially if you have run multiple times so if you do a docker ps we can see your running container which is running at 8080 okay and i have mapped it with port 80 of nginx but when accessing you have to do it by 80 you can use any other port as well so here is our running version of the app okay now to verify that it is running from the container of nginx i'll show you the logs so let me go to command line and here you have to take the container name and type docker logs the container id and you can 
give minus f that is the trailing log happening in the container okay so now you hit the our url once again you will show from the access logs that it is going and to our nginx okay so you can see the request is going over there in our nginx container okay so this is how you can deploy a nginx in a react using nginx okay so i will show you the contents of the docker file again okay so we are using node 12.8 as our first stage of the build and then copying the same in our nginx image of nginx alpine so i am copying those contents of the stage 1 in stage 2 okay so finally we will have a only one image okay which will be a image build from nginx alpine containing our react app okay so thank you all hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so give me feedback and please subscribe so thank you